I want to proclaim by divine authority that every prolonged battle in your life has ended. If you believe it, put your hands together and shout yes. Psalm, Psalm 7 verse 9. The Bible said, O Lord, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. Today I declare, every wickedness in your life is coming to an end. Every injustice against you come to an end. Every prolonged battle concerning your health comes to an end. Concerning your finances come to an end. Concerning your children comes to an end. Concerning your marriage, it comes to an end. Concerning your family, it comes to an end. Concerning your business, your life, your land, your property, your investment, prolonged battles in the form of wickedness. Yeah, wickedness. Some of the things are nothing but wickedness. And some of them are just injustice. But today, any occasion, an advantage, the enemy is using against you and your family, your children, your loved one, your health. Today, I announce on authority in the name of Jesus, as we put our hands together, let it come to an end right now. Let it come to an end. Let it come to an end. I can't hear you. You have been too nice. Since the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. Every wickedness come to an end. Every wickedness is over. Injustice is over. In the name of Jesus, let it come to an end. We decree and declare an end of secret surprise attacks, surprise attacks, ongoing conflicts, ongoing battles in your life, the life of your children, your finances, your health, your marriage, your business. In the name of Jesus, contentions, conflicts, we command them to come to an end. Let them come to an end. Hear me. Hear me. Today is the first of October. It's the month of divine alignments. Are you hearing me? It's the month of divine order. As we embark on this month of October, any advantage that the enemy has had over your life all these years, and from January to now, as a result of ignorance, as a result of sins of commissions or omission, whatever the advantage is, we declare that advantage has ended. It has expired. It comes to an end with immediate effect. No more advantage over your finances. No more advantage over your business, your children, your future, your health, your loved one. And hear me. I declare a clean medical report for somebody. I said a clean medical report for somebody in the name of the Lord Jesus. And Nahum 1-9, any, any occasion the enemy used in the past to afflict you, affliction won't rise the second time. That chain is not coming back again. That affliction is not coming back again. That attack is not coming back again. In the name of Jesus, say yes. Few days ago, I was lying down and I began to feel some pains in a particular area of my body. And I said, aha, who you have no, no. Eh? And I said, aha, I know you. You are projecting some things. And, and I knew it was symptoms. So I took anointing oil and I anointed myself and I said, all symptoms of any kind of infection or any affliction or sickness or disease of the past, pack your baggage with immediate effect, dismiss. Say with immediate effect, dismiss, dismiss. Right now in the name of Jesus. By the time I finished making that declaration, all the symptoms disappeared. Are you hearing me? 
Now, you know what the enemy was doing? He was knocking at my door with symptoms to open up a door so whatever sickness it was can come back again. A lot of you, he uses symptoms to threaten you, to put fear in you, to open the door. Some of you, you've lost weight and he will tell you the weight is coming again. Yeah, me, I don't, I don't weigh myself. I don't spend my time because that weighing of yourself can manipulate and fool you. So I don't weigh myself. I just want to stay healthy. That's it. I don't go and weigh myself. Say, I put on five kilos. I put on ten kilos. I don't, I'm not putting on anything. I'm just healthy. In the name of Jesus. Say, I hear you. So he can put fear in you and say, the weight is coming back again. The sickness is coming by symptoms. Today, in the name of Jesus. I declare those symptoms are over. I said the symptoms are over. No more symptoms in the name of Jesus. That voice that keeps speaking and threatening you that that illness is coming back, that failure is coming back, the shame is coming back, the defeat is coming back, the setback is coming back, the sabotage is coming back, the betrayal is coming back, the past is coming back. I declare it is over in the name of Jesus. If you believe it, put your hands and declare it. I am forcing. Put your hands say, I am forced. I am forced. I am forced in the name of Jesus. It is over. It's over. It's over. It will not rise again. I will make an utter end. It's over. We end it. Let it come to an end. Let the wickedness come to an end. Let the injustice come to an end. Surprise attacks come to an end. Prolonged battles come to an end. Afflictions come to an end. Symptoms of issues of the past come to an end. Come on, put your hands and declare a command. I decree the end. I end it. I decree the end of symptoms and surprise attacks. In the name of Jesus.